What's going on YouTube? In today's episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about the basics of the powerlifting style bench pressing. So without further ado, let's get started. So there's four key things that I want you guys to focus on when you're focusing on the bench. Uh, and what we're gonna do is I want you to have cues, the four cues, is you want to focus on from the ground up, meaning that you want to focus on your feet first, your lower back, uh, your upper back, and then the actual bench press of you utilizing your upper arm strength and chest and shoulders and triceps itself. First things first, your feet. A lot of people when they have a hard time with the bench press and when the weight gets too heavy, what you'll notice is that when they're pushing the weight up, they have a thing called dancing feet. And so their feet have a tendency to move around too much because they're kind of panicking and they're trying to push the weight up. So instead of focusing on that, what you want to actually try to do is you want to try to put your feet right underneath your butt meaning that you want your legs to create almost like a curvature kind of shape. Depending on how long your legs are, you might either have to spread your legs a little bit farther or you can put your feet a little bit narrower, but the main point is you want your legs underneath your butt. Now, with that said though, Depending on the federation that you're going to try to compete in or anything like that, you can either have your toes up or the heels must be down. And there is a difference. So that's number one, is have your feet firmly planted underneath your butt, creating almost an arch kind of shape. Second tip is you want to focus on your lower back. Now, some people, depending on their flexibility, they can actually have a really good arch. And a really good arch will definitely help you in the long run be able to bench more because the range of motion is highly reduced. Now, if you think about it, the higher your arch, the less range of motion that the bar has to go because your body is already there to try to beat the bar. If your arch is not as, is not as high, then you're just going to be here, then the range of motion is even longer so it makes it a little bit more difficult so flexing the lower back and trying to create a big hole underneath your um, underneath your back will definitely help a good key to figuring out how to do this is making sure that your butt is still on the bench and then you try to arch your back as much as you can so that's cue number two tip number three is the actual upper back so now we have focused on the feet focused on the lower back and now we're going to focus on the upper back a lot of people don't realize that the bench actually works out works out your upper back as well meaning that in order for you to be able to bench more weights you have to stay tight the whole time now what does that mean that means that you can't be flimsy the tighter you are the more muscles you will end up able to utilize when you're actually benching so what that looks like is in my previous deadlift video, I was talking to you about utilizing the lats and what does that actually mean. Similar to that idea is you want to quote unquote bend the bar, but not only just bending the bar. You want to take the bar and you want to squeeze your lats downward. Now, I've used that, uh, I've used that example before, but it's the best example that I can really give you guys, which is you're not actually trying to bend the bar it's just gonna end up as a byproduct of you squeezing your lats downwards. So if you take your lats like this, you take your arm and you push down like this with your lats, your chest goes up and your lats go down, your shoulders go down, and that will naturally make it look like you're bending the bar because you're trying to push your shoulders down and squeeze your upper back really, really tight. Now, just as a warning, when you're first starting out, that actually might be difficult to do, especially when you're focusing on trying to push the weight up. You're not used to like sticking your chest out and keeping your keeping your upper back tight the whole time. 
and it's okay. Focus on one cue at a time. Um, as you progress, you'll try to remember all of them one at a time. So that's key number three. Tip number three is keeping your upper back tight by squeezing your back and squeezing and tightening your lats. Tip number four. With the bench itself, it is not a straight line. It's more of a curvature. When you're descending with the weight down, your arms actually create almost like a 90 degree angle. Whereas, instead of having it straight up like this, and then pop, this is a straight line, it will actually morally go like downwards this way. And when you push up, it'll be similar to the way you start, which is you push up this way. So there is a curvature to the bench and it is not a straight. Warning, depending on how you actually bench, your grip on the bench will change the way you descend. The wider your grip, the wider your grip, the more of a straight line it has to go down. Generally speaking, the closer your elbows are to your body when you descend and when you push up, the more triceps you're using. Whereas the wider your grip is, the more shoulders you're using. So the best way is to try to combine both. You wanna kinda of have a grip where your shoulders and your triceps are both utilized. A 45 degree angle when you descend with your elbows, your elbows, will definitely help. So those are the things that you want to focus on. Those are the key tips, four key tips that you want to focus on when you're trying to bench. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys and hopefully you liked the video. Subscribe if you can and uh, I'll see you guys next time for the next one. Peace.